is going to foment uh, violence. And uh, today, we are publishing for the first time names of persons that uh, we feel deserve uh, uh, to be honored. And this is what we would say a list of uh, fame. And we have uh, Mr. Mohammed Abdukahim Osman, MP for FAPFI, and uh, Mrs. Charity Gadambi, MP of Joro. Those are two names we have put in the list of fame because of what they have done in helping in their own situations uh, to help deal with uh, violence. And then in the list of shame, we have the name of uh, Mr. Johanna Ngeno and uh, Mr. Mike Sonko. And uh, these two names, we have put their, them there because of their utterances and uh, their behavior. We also have included the names of uh, the two members of parliament who fought uh, two days ago in uh, Kisi, and uh, that is uh, Honorable Arati and uh, Honorable Osoros. These are the names that we have included, but as well, we have included names of the goons in Gedurai and uh, Bama who went on and uh, even began to throw stones, etc. As we have said, even though those are many, we are able to identify them, and so we are working and we'll go after them as well. Well, there is more that unites us than divides us in this country as a people. We must rise up now and refuse to be divided. We urge all Kenyans to imbibe positive values as is stipulated. If there'll be conflicts. So that is why we say that he's part of the uh, people who can now get that fame. Because he doesn't care whether he's left out or uh, not, but he wants peace to the community. Then uh, when we look at uh, the other two, you know, we also have our research team. So they do a lot and they look at even the social media. Well, so that is how we came up with these two, looking at the research that uh, was done by our team and uh, how they answer questions even on the social media. We have all that information. So we didn't just pick on the two, but uh, we looked at how they were trying to interact with the, other, the community. Commissioner Denver? Um, I think, let me just, um, um, thank you. I think positive reinforcement is good. We always focus on the negative and we blame the politicians, uh, oftentimes or not. But the reality is the majority of them are doing a good job and we cannot just always point them out. In the reality of our country, the fact is that it's a supply and demand. The reason these guys do what they do is because we as Kenyans also love it. So there's a personal responsibility. And they ought to be, uh, the doctrine of personal responsibility says that we ought to, as a nation, reject such things. But just to re-emphasize that, in this, this weekend, let me just cite a positive example. This weekend, because you love stories. This weekend, uh, during the rally in Garissa, uh, Moshimi uh, Mohammed Abdelkahim was being goaded even by the by the population or the crowd to incite them against what is happening between Kirisa and Isiolo. But he went against the trend, he went, he resisted that and actually said, listen guys, I am a peaceful guy and I will not be elected on the basis of dividing people, inciting people or on bloodshed because that's in, in that part of the country, especially in the northern part of the country, uh, the, the more you incite, the, the more you seem to be a wallow, the more, or championing the rights of your committee in quotes, the more you you get votes. But he said, listen, I'm, we will have to go the way of peace because even he said his faith is, is not uh, that way. The same thing with uh, uh, um, the Honorable Charity Gadambi and, and the entire leadership of Nakuru, let me just add that. Uh, during, you remember during last year when violence erupted in Joro 
and, and Molo, I mean, they, they tirelessly work behind the scenes with us and other agencies to make sure there is peace. Usually, politicians take advantage of that and to their own advantage because they want uh, the votes. But she worked tirelessly. Uh, the entire leadership of, 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 of Nakuru, Honorable Martha, uh, Liz Chilule, uh, there are many of them in Gujiri. They did an excellent job in making sure that there is peace in a very volatile region in the country. So as much as we point to the negative, what we also want to do is, 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 is show a good example that you can follow uh, the right way, that you can do the right thing. And by doing that, we can move our nation uh, to, to, to that discourse. In reality, let me just finish by this statement. There is no country, no nation has risen above its leaders. Kenyans have a responsibility to elect the right leaders, to choose the right leaders, to reject those who incite them, who divide them, in, in whatever manner, in whatever way, and, and choose the ones that actually can take them further and elevate, elevate them to where they need to be as a country. And hence, that, that we listed that. And there are many, and many will come later in those lists. There are people who are doing a fantastic job uh, both privately and publicly in making sure there is cohesion and peace in, in, in where they are, they, are, they are leading. All right, thank you. Well, thank you very much and enjoy uh, your lunch. Thank you.